Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Tech Tutorial and in this chapter 60 of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Karma, we are going to unit test at the rate input and at the rate output functionalities. Objective of this video is to understand how to unit test at the rate input decorator and understand how to unit test at the rate output decorator. Now, here is the example that I have prepared in which I have a user list. Uh, that is this is the parent component and i have user detail which will show the details of the user which is a child component so in this example whenever i click on any of the users from the list the information will be displayed in user detail component that is the child component and whenever i update a value here and click on save that same information will be updated in the user list that is the parent component now i have achieved this using at the rate input and at the rate output decorators provided by angular now let's check out its code first in our demo component.html this is a component that i have prepared and in this example i have displayed the list of users using this there is a user info array that I have prepared where I have supplied a sample amount of data and that information is displayed here. Then there is a user detail component. So this component contains ID, name and age. And that information is passed to this user detail component using the selected user variable present in the in our demo component. That is our parent component there is also another method that is return update user so this update user will return us the updated user information now going to the user detail component now this user detail component has at the rate input and cell user and whenever the value of this selected user is set that means i am clicking on the user information in the list this particular value will be set here using at the rate input cell user and here instead of a property i am using a function to set the information i have also checked whether the user information is proper that is it is not null or undefined then i am setting it to username user id and age variables in order to display it on the ui coming to the user detail component ui here i have uh, displayed user id using string interpolation and using the two-way binding or the ng model i have displayed the username in a text box similar way i have displayed the age using ng model in a text box and i have also returned a at the rate output variable so update user this is decorated with at the rate output and it is assigned a event emitter so whenever I click on the button and say save user, so this method is called and in this method I have written this dot update user dot emit which will send our information to the parent component that is the in our demo component. Now in order to unit test the at the rate input and at the rate output decorator functionality, I have already written a spec file and in this spec file a standard variables for in out component that is our parent component and user detail component that is our child component has been created similar way their fixtures and debug element are also created now here i have also created a object of user class so this is the user class that i am using for storing the information about the users and that information is id name and age then standard configuration for creating the test bed now here fixture is created instance of the parent component is created along with that i have initialized the user object as well and i have assigned certain values that is name equal to anika id equal to 1 and age equal to 30 then user list component dot selected user is equal to user so i have set the value for the selected user now why it is important to set the value for selected user because whenever this value 
that is the selected users variable value is set that particular value is taken by angular and is passed to our user detail component using set user which will be received in this at the rate input as we want to unit test the at the rate input functionality i have set the value for the selected user variable now i want to check whether the given value set in the selected user is received in the child component now i'm going to write a user test case for the same uh, before moving ahead with our test case the way we have created the fixture and debug element for our parent component that is the user list component i have also created the fixture component instance for the child component that is our user detail component now moving to our test case i have created a test case to demonstrate how we can check the value is received by at the rate input decorator variable so here i have written a test case input should test the input changes now i have included our test function in a async test zone why i have included it i will explain it in a bit moment and before moving ahead with our test what happens is that whenever the user selects user information and clicks on it the selected user information is passed to the child component that is the user detail component and in the child component this information is stored in a div for the user id and in two text boxes for user name and age for the user id it is stored in a div and for that div we have given the id as user id and here i am going to find this user id using the parent components debug element why because the template of the child component is present within the parent components template hence we will be able to get the user id information using the parent list debug element and we are going to check the inner text and this inner text we are going to check it whether to contain one now why we are comparing it to one because here when we are in the before each i had set the user information that is the username to anika user id to one and user age to 30 hence we are going to expect that the user id div contains one then we are going to check whether the username is properly placed in the text box now here what happens is that the information is passed from the parent component to child component then it is assigned to a variable in the child component and from there a two way binding operation happens which is a asynchronous operation in itself and that two way binding operation places the information in the input text box and it is displayed to us because of that two way binding operation i have included the our test function in the async test zone and in order to test the username is present and it is as per our expectation it is included in the friends table now here i am extracting the information of the username using the username id and is storing it here in an input element variable and checking whether the given value of the input box is anika so when i save this test it will be executed successfully because the div will contain the user id and input element will contain the name anika so here you can see our test case for input is executed successfully when we tested the input we never now when we tested the input functionality use any variable declared for the child component we only used the variable created for the parent component why because the parent component has the template of the child component and hence it is easy to detect that information now in case of the at the rate output decorator all the operations are performed in the child because in the child once the button is clicked emit function event emitters emit function is called now let's go and write a test case for at the rate output decorator so here i have written a test case for testing the at the rate output decorator and in case of at the rate output 
when the save button is clicked emit functionality is executed so in order to test this first what i have done is user.h so try to simulate values of the user object is changed then a sample selected variable is created and here i have written user detail component dot update user now this update user is our variable that is decorated with the at the rate output now now event emitter is a kind of an observable that returns a function and that and that can be subscribed so in the test i have used update user dot subscribe and here the data now event emitter passes the user information that is the updated user information back to the parent component hence this subscribe and then the given variable selected user is assigned the updated user information then we are assigning the user variables details to the variables present with the user detail component so user dot id is assigned to user detail component dot user id whereas user detail component dot user name is assigned user dot name value and so on then we are going to call user detail dot save user now in this method event emitters emit method is called so here you can see once the user clicks on the button this will come to this point update user dot emit and user detail now it is returning the user detail information which is updated by the user then we are going to check whether the selected user so here what happens is that once this save user is called the information then comes to this subscribe because we are emitting a value of user and that data is assigned to this selected user then we are going to check selected user dot age to be user dot age so let's go and save this one and check whether this test is executed properly now here you can see so this test case is executed successfully so this is how you can test the input and output decorators using jasmine and perma i hope you have understood this video if you do please provide us comments do subscribe thank you